There are many farms on Thomas's branch line. The engines often pass the various fields on their way with trains. At the top station stood a cattle dock, where farmers loaded their cattle and jugs of milk into vans that Toby took away to a dairy down the line. Recently, the traffic on these services has grown exponentially. So, the Fat Controller decided to form a new service. He came to tell Toby and Thomas all about it one summer evening. On show, the Fat Controller finished. You will collect vines on your morning run down the branch, Thomas. Then you will take the return train of empties and cattle back up at noon. Toby, you will take the full train from the dairy to the big station at 4 p.m. There they will be stored at a larger facility owned by the dairy. And James will take it with the fruit train in the morning. Any question about this, uh, dairy train? Uh, my first run's a passenger train. How will that work? You will take the van along with your passengers. It's only one train. I'm sure it will be fine. I suppose, sir. Thomas had serious objections, but bit his tongue. He had only just gotten his branch line back after the incident at the mines. He waited until the fat controller had strolled over to the station parking lot before voicing his irritation. Cattle trucks on a passenger service? It seems quite quaint. On my old line, we always pull mixed trains. Well, on this branch line, we pull normal trains. Annie and Clabo won't like this idea, do you girls? No, certainly not. It's bad for our image. Rubbish, Carabelle. This is a branch line. We must do things to please our passengers and clients. I'm not one to fuss, grunted Annie, but smelly cattle trucks will spoil our reputation as a pristine service. Thomas huffed triumphantly while Toby just chuckled and went to sleep. The next morning, Thomas reluctantly collected five cow trucks and two milk trucks. Clarabelle groaned as they were pulled up. I could smell the stench before I saw them. The passengers were most surprised by the new consist, but climbed aboard all the same. The top station was not very far from the next station, so Thomas always cruised between the two. However, beyond this station lay miles of uninterrupted countryside. Thomas tried to speed up smoothly, but the vans bumbled along, jarring the passengers. They dragged, making the journey slower than usual. We really should speed up. Quite right, Thomas. Please hurry along. We will fall behind. I'm doing the best I can. <sighs> These vans are slowing us down. Thomas kept his eyes on the rails. He felt the journey go quicker while watching the sleepers fly by. Suddenly, Annie's voice screeched through his thoughts. Break, Thomas! Break! Thomas looked up. Horrors! He was thundering over the bridge right before the river station. The driver slammed on the brakes. The coaches lurched. People and cows all cried out in alarm. The station master watched the train screech through the station. Bertie was at a small bus stop near the level crossing when he heard an extraordinary noise. He looked up to find Thomas, red in the face, straddling the crossing. Stopped. At last. Hello, Thomas. I didn't know we were racing today. The well, passengers don't seem too happy about it. The passengers stormed angrily out of the coaches and back towards the station. The station master locked himself in his office, leaving his two porters to deal with the horde. The driver tried to start Thomas back up, but found difficulty releasing the brake. He took a look underneath. It's no use, Thomas. Your brakes have jumped solid, and it looks like the bottom of your wheels have gone flat. We're gonna need to get a flatbed to bring you home. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Toby sorted out the whole mess and brought Thomas down to the junction. Percy came to help Toby run the line. It started drizzling as Thomas spotted a familiar figure walking towards him. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, I shouldn't have Shay no more, Thomas. I've read the accident report and the overwhelming amount of lettuce from angry fashion dish. It seems like that wasn't the only thing wrong. Apparently the journey was rough and slow. On top of all of that, there was a concerning odor drifting over the entire train through open windows. I guess this whole dairy train was a fiasco. I am sorry that you got caught up in it. You shall be mended at once. We can't have Thomas's branch line without Thomas, of course. Thomas didn't have to say anything else. He just blushed happily. Thomas wasn't away for very long. He had new wheels and was happy to be home. He whistled at everyone he saw and felt very cheerful. But what about the dairy train? Toby takes all of the cattle and milk churns down to the dairy as his first train down the branch line. The farmers like this service as they can accompany their stock down in Henrietta. The cows enjoy their exclusive run, and Toby doesn't go fast enough for it to be a nerve-wracking affair for them. Henrietta is often heard to say how much she enjoys the morning run. Annie and Clarabelle can't understand it.